All right, we're back, and then I, I realized I totally forgot to update my overlays, so I'm going to do that really fast. Uh, while the drafting stage goes on, and I believe uh, Shorkan's going to be AFK for a second, but we've got Kananorf here. Kananorf, tell me, tell me what's going on, because I don't understand what's happening on my screen. Kraken. Oh, no, no Kraken. problem. I, it's I probably going to be a suicide Kraken. Probably. I mean, that's what we would do. <laughs> I joke. But... <laughs> Uh, sorry, that's that's a, if you people don't get that, it's fine. <laughs> um, no, but Swift Blade, Doctor, Parasite, and Magma is pretty reasonable bands. Doctor did Diglett did really well, so it's understandable band. Yeah. Uh, nope, I have no problem with the current bands. Yeah, no doubt. And all right, okay, I'm I've got stuff back. Everything's fine. Yeah, first to Kraken. Sensible bands all the way around, and Rhapsody going to be the first pick for the guys on Nursi's team. Name is irrelevant. Sorry, I forgot their name for a second because it's really pretentious. <laughs> I haven't seen the first pick Rhapsody in a while. Yeah, they did. Or I, did they first pick her last game or second pick her? It was an early pick on uh, Rhapsody last game. She's really been falling off a lot, especially yeah, I know, in, I know. Uh, in Diamond Division. It's like Glacius is really strong, Torture, yep. Empath, and so on. And, uh, well, I, I I would dispute the notion that Torture is strong, but I suppose each person <laughs> can have their... I don't know. Like, Torture has le legitimately hung around the high 30s, low 40s win rate for the last nine months now. And when you do that that long... And he was with the top-picked hero in CIC, too. So it's not like people weren't playing him. It's not like the top teams weren't playing him. Everybody was playing him. He just lost a lot of games. So he's probably got like 200 some games now over the last nine months in, com in high tier competitive. That's all di only Diamond season three and Carnage and Caldivar, and his win rate overall win rate's like 40 percent. So you at some point just stop picking that hero and stop picking this hero, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but you you can't say that he that Torture's bad. I mean, he is he's he's good. I'm not I'm not saying well, he's the best pick, but he's not bad. I think I can say that a little bit. He does, he's a very good short lane zoning support. The yes. problem kind of is, that's about all he does well. Like, he's also a good pusher, but he dies too quickly in team fights to get any significant amount of damage off. His stun is good if you hit it, but it's really hard to hit. And he also makes you a little bit predictable because you see a torture and you think, okay, that's a short lane support hero. So they're either going to go for a hard carry or... A hard carry, like that's that's Delicious. what you do all the time with a torture. So, mm. I mean, you know, try you never you never try lane torture. So if you so, you see a torture, it's either gonna be double dual lanes or jungler. I feel like he's predictable, and I feel like his skill set isn't that good. And in a support role, I think as a carry, he has some unexplored potential. But I don't know. I get why people like him. I just yeah. No, no, I understand where you're coming from, one hundred percent. I I agree with you that he is. He's a really good zoning support and push, and that's like there, there are other supports that can do better in the mid to late game sure. than what he does as a support. I feel like he, what together with like I don't know like Flux, Kraken, j just you know the wombo combo, yeah. he's one of the best supports to pick. For right, that. because you know he has a crap ton of AOE damage. So exactly, yeah, certainly in that regard, he is definitely a very good hero. The problem I have is then, is he the best one? Like. Would you rather have a torturer or an engineer in that situation? And some situations you probably have torturer, especially if you want to go for more of a hard carry strat, because Engie's on a great babysitter. But that's fair. Engie then allows you to run a better dual lane than torturer does, because he's a little more aggressive. I think his ult is mm -hmm. better in team fights for the most part. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's certainly situations where I think a torturer pick is good. It's just overall, I feel like the hero's consistently overpicked. Uh, considering Gla I think Glacius is a really strong hero right now, especially after he got that slight yeah. buff. I think Empath's probably underpicked. Uh, Pyromancer, Sync are doing whatever they can to make people pick Pyromancer, <laughs> but apparently not everybody's catching on. Short can loves Pyromancer, it's okay. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, but about Torture, I think that you shouldn't play him as a full support. You can play him as a zoning support, but he should almost always be played as a, a semi-support because he has so much damage in the late game. Like, it's unbelievable. If you give that yeah. hero a bit of farm, just a tiny bit, like, he gets a tablet in team fights, just level your ultimate at level 6 if you're semi-supporting. Right. Please. Like, level 1 of the ulti does 66 magic damage per second, which is a lot, considering that it costs 20 mana per second. Like, yeah. 
it's ridiculous. It is really, really, really strong. And the fact that chain reaction goes up to two seconds of stun is also really, really crazy in right. team fights. And you can play him in a tri lane by uh. maxing agonizing bonds. Six second cooldown, I don't like lots it. of range. Queen's like groaning. <sighs> I don't yeah, like it. I know you don't like it. I know you don't like it, but <laughs> there's the like, possibility. I understand that that if you're gonna play torture in a tri lane, that's what you do. But I think it's kind of iffy because it's just so easy to predict as usual. Like you cannot get impalement in in a tri lane, and impalement is such a good damage spell. So I feel like yeah. if you're gonna put a here a support here in a tri lane. There are about four or five other supports I'd want before torture, maybe more. And I mean, yeah, if you get forced into it, fine. There's ways to work around it, but like, I don't think people should design their drafts around that. Anyway, we're well into the draft of this game that doesn't have a torture involved in it whatsoever. So we should stop talking about it here. Uh, Second stage bands will be Ravener, Puppet Master, and Wretched Hag. So Plato trying to bounce out the short lane so, uh, carry options for the Hellborn team. Presumably Diglett will be occupying that role once again. So let Moon Queen and the Dark Lady get taken out by Narcy. So similar thought process over on the Hellborn side. And that's going to leave a pretty serious dearth of uh, carry potential here in general. We still have the Soul Stealer available. Um, that's more or less it in terms of support or carries we see a lot. Valkyrie is on the board. That has some potential, I suppose. And we're going to go for the Tempest. So Tempest no feel yeah, actually remaining wonder. unbanned. I was wondering why Tempest was being left unbanned, unpicked. Yeah. Like, the drunken second pick, I didn't really like that. I don't know if they run jungler or not, but I felt like that Tempest could have been a good second pick. Uh, I yeah. was wondering why it wasn't. Well, I, against a Kraken and a I, Bubbles, I'm not. Yeah, but I mean, it's always a good pick in my opinion. I, I mean... I think this game I would have well, gone for Ophelia over Tempest if I'm the Hellborn team. That, that's true, but I, I didn't know if they played Ophelia or Tempest. Or... Right, that's that's Ophelia fair. Is Ophelia is really less picked. Yeah, because she's much harder to play. That's fair. Um, but, I mean, actually, if they're going to go for a jungler in that situation, I would have much preferred a Solstice or a Legionnaire uh, Definitely. Over, a, <clears throat> over a Tempest, especially because they also have... God damn it, Narcy. <laughs> yeah, well, at, at least ban the fucking... Tempest, because like, yeah. a crack in Bubbles Glacius is really good with Tempest, and now right. a Soul Stealer on top of that? Yeah. I'm just... I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah, like yeah. a list of four heroes, alright, that I don't want to ever see in any game. And I think <laughs> every single game I see at least two of them, it feels like. That's not true, it's a complete over-exaggeration, but Bro. god damn it. I mean, like, Stop no, not Pharaoh, okay, but... No, Pharaoh's fine. If that had been a rally, I'd been not, so happy. Pharaoh's not particularly good, but... <laughs> if that had been a rally, I would quit. I'm just done. <laughs> Yo, Quincy, I mean, remember the Rexar's games we were casting where they picked well, Rally Yolo trained... every single game, and Yolo trained did such no, a great job Pharaoh. at it. He was playing Pharaoh. What? The, the Rexar's games where he was playing Pharaoh? Wasn't he playing yeah, Pharaoh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Rally. But they picked a Pharaoh. No, I said Pharaoh. You said Rally. I said Pharaoh. Fourth. Can or back me up on this? What? Uh, God damn it! What? I <laughs> know uh, a clockwork was typing to me on Skype, so I was like, "What?" Okay, so think about rally. Don't think about rally. Rally's not in this game. We don't have to think about rally. Rally's a bad. Just leave it alone. Rally's a great right. hero. They, they picked up Aluna and Pharaoh on the Hellborn team, so I got a number of problems with that. But Legion's not going to finish off their draft with the Soul Series, as we mentioned before, and. Like I was talking about, not too much left in terms of the short lane carry options, and it seems like Diglett is going to be playing the Drunken Master, so that's their late game. And they also have a dual like support, that. so I really hate the Hellborn draft. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like going Drunken as a main carry. Yeah. I really don't. I would have liked to see Engineer instead of Luna. Give them a bit more like team fight because this is just disgusting. <laughs> They're going to rely yeah. so heavily on winning the laning phase, and Drunken is not going to outcarry a Soul Stealer. <laughs> and you know if nope, <laughs> <laughs> nope. The JPG and Pharaoh, Pharaoh suicide. Oh man, yeah. I feel so bad for him. He's gonna cry. Like he's just there's nothing he can do. Yeah. I mean it's a Glacius, so you think it's not a big deal because Glacius isn't the best zoning support. But that that's not even the point. Like Glacius can opt to leave. Oh, bubbles after no time. Bubbles gonna get the shell surf on out, and he gets stunned, and he can't port to it, so he's real dead. Reach and clear. So that's a good start for the Hellborn team. They're gonna pick up the Bloodlust onto uh, Rhapsody, and so she'll have some nice early gold quick boots. I like that. 
And they're going short lane, tri lane, Drunken Master here. What is this nonsense? I think Aluna's just staying there for now. I don't think they're actually going to tri lane the Drunken Master. Unless really, they're stupid. I really hope they don't. I really, 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 really hope they don't. <laughs> Negative GPM on I mean, the Bubbles. <laughs> okay, so Bubbles just dropped a word of sight in the middle of everybody, and they're not going to deward it? Like. I think he was guys. too be busy being lunched on. No, but like the Hellborn, why aren't they dewarding this uh, word of sight? Because they, they didn't see it being placed. Like, look at the rev word from Ryanski. Well, it's that was placed first. Why would he place that? Because when he was concerned about uh, blocking the pull. Uh, is Aluna and Chunk's Bubbles gonna... are going at this, and okay, who's it gonna be? Health bot gets used by Aluna. Health bot gets used by Bubbles. Oh, oh and it's the Aluna taking out GG Slayer. So, Aluna number one hero yep. game, pretty yeah. much. Aluna number one hero, GG. <laughs> No equal. No, it's the GG Slayer. Yeah, but get it. Get yeah, it. I get it. It's a slayer. Did he get it? Wow. I don't think I, I don't think he got it. By the way, Twitch no. chat agree with me. You said rally. <laughs> I knew it was something about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, middle lane's gonna be the devourer, and the raps they're going up against Kraken here. So Kraken not gonna have a great time, but should be relatively okay, especially as Glaze just is rotating down here. So. It'll end up being a two versus two lane, and we'll see who wins. It's going to depend entirely, my my guess is, on the quality of Devourer hooks. So if Narcy can have another good Devo game, then Kraken might suffer, and if not, then it could be sad times. I would, I would have preferred to have Aluna in the mid. I think he does a shit ton with um, his power throws. Picking off, you know, those kills if they're far away, pretty nice. And I mean, he does have a stun, which is almost as long as Rhapsody Sun. And Bubbles can also potentially take over the power throw. The only reason I agree with their laning phase, and I'm going to disagree with you, is because uh, Devourer Rot is going to do a bunch of damage to himself, so having this, the dance floor yeah. damaging and healing Devourer, I think, is going to be quite valuable. But then the argument is, right, like, do you want to have to sustain yourself to get kills, or do you want to just do enough burst to get kills? Well, I mean, I Dance Floor still ladder. does a lot of damage. And if the person stands still, but there's not a, lo a lot of stun from well, Devour, and that's staccato. why I don't like this. Yeah, Staccato is not enough, because he's going to be it's off not. of it, especially Fine. with low level... Oh, they're looking hook, for Glacius, hook, and hook. nope, can't find it. 290 no. move speed Glacius, and Narcy can't even land a simple hook. What a player. Um, anyway, Glacius and Rhapsody to trade some auto attacks here. Glacius popping health pot to keep himself sustained as Kraken controls the bottom rune. It is a haste. And that could present some opportunities for this Legion team. By the way, bottom lane it is King Plato going up against uh, Reverse on that Suicide Pharaoh. So, sad times last game for him on the Bubbles. Top, it's going to be Bubbles going in. And if Drunken's actually going to jump on him once again, he's able to take cover now, but it's not going to be enough. Gets the Shell Surf before the take cover. And so you could pretty much see that one coming. So Diglett, up to a pretty solid start here. And the guys on uh, Name is Irrelevant doing very well. Middle lane, yeah, it's going to be the... Death on Rhapsody. They're trying to chase down this Glacius, but that's not going to work very well. Freeze on Glacius is still available, but not enough mana, and the haste on Kraken won't be sufficient to allow him to tower dive. So if they had another Glacius freeze, that might have been a second kill, but unfortunately couldn't find it. And bottom lane, bottom lane. Oh god, everything's happening everywhere. Pharaoh wants something on the Soul Reaper. Soul Stealer. I know. It's not going to be there. And I'm pointing it out to you. No problem. It's good. <laughs> I'm a terrible cameraman, so I missed up be, all the time. So King Plato has 265 GPM and Diglett has 400 plus. Easy. I mean, I, I find that pretty weird considering Bubble. I mean, Drunken is pretty good solo, I guess. But I, I he should have higher. I feel. Doesn't didn't so take so cover so completely disjoint yeah, yeah, his so done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. How should he ever get stunned? No, 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 no. Just with the, his E, he can just really put or the aggression on bubbles. Like he can't really do anything. He just he, you don't want to use your Q to get away, but you don't really want to take the damage from E and auto attacks. Like as you see. Oh, oh see, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Go for it. I don't think he has the range to do it. Now that he's ghost marchers, maybe he does have the speed yeah, because obviously. bubbles yeah. doesn't have boots. But prior to that, I felt like he shouldn't have had. Anyway, demon hand will finish off uh, reverse in the bottom lane, so I did catch that. Ha! 
Oh right, I, I forgot that Aluna actually <laughs> killed Bubbles. Uh, My bad. Yeah, I mean Bubbles has died a couple of times in this top lane, so it hasn't been great. He's that actually at sub, 50, he's at 55 GPM, so he would have more farm if he just sat in a well for five minutes, which is always funny. Might be worth it. Yeah, <laughs> and he's only level two, so it's not like he's doing a lot in terms of. Uh... Anyway, middle lane. Oh, nice hook on from the Devour, one of them heroes. Cracking charges away, no problem. A lot of people usually say that Kraken dual mid is not strong, but it does not, not matter for shit when the other team is also dual midding. Because if Kraken can actually get a charge off with a freeze from Glacius, it could very well be a kill on either Devourer or Rhapsody because he's anyway. really tanky, he has Arrow a splash, he has a lot of posts. It's real dead in the bottom lane, so sorry. Yeah, but it happens. The game but is happening while you're trying to talk about things. Yeah, I'm I know, so it's sorry. so unfortunate. Oh, Kraken can completely lift the charge in the middle lane. There's Freeze on a Rhapsody in the background. I think Kraken will be just fine. Regen room immediately gets cancelled. And all of a sudden, Rhapsody's in a fair bit of trouble, but apparently not enough. Devourer wants this, but there's TP support as well. A Freeze is going to come through, and Narcy's going to fall. Getting ridiculously aggressive right there with pretty much no support from a no health, no mana Rhapsody. I'm not really sure if there was a communication issue there or what, but it wasn't a great plan. Here comes good hero middle. Nope. Not going to get a kill because great hero. <laughs> but he didn't have mana for hook. He yeah. needed like 20 mana, which right. was kind of shitty. He should have bottled one more time, but I guess he was like, nah. Right, so I mean, either take the sip or don't, but like, you can't... I, I, he got too aggressive, I think. Yeah, for sure. End. I mean, even the best I mean, case scenario there, he still dies. Yeah. Especially considering they don't have any vision uphill. So he was basically just like, let's see what happens. Anyway, uh, top lane, GG Slayer remains in to recover a little bit, 65 GPM, so we're not quite at the gold tick yet, but we're getting there. And he's also level 3, so good stuff. Yeah, he's might making get, sure oh. to have quite a presence, you know. He didn't get a last hit. Oh, he might now, though. Oh, uh, no, missed it, it's fine. These these suicide bubbles in this uh, Legion top lane in game 1 and game 2 have not had a great time. This is not a very good suicide hero, I guess, you know. Sometimes he does well if it's 1v1, but even then, most carries are better 1v1 heroes. So. Yeah. And I say that more. with complete confidence. That wow. most carries are better 1v1 heroes. Like, you mentioned the Valkyrie, Corrupt Disciple, um, Bushwhack. Um, I mean, they're not the conventional carries, but even Soul Sealer beats the Bubbles, I think. If he can just get level 2, Demon Hand, get a few last hits, make sure to have more uh, auto attack damage than Bubbles, and then he wins. Yeah. Even if it needs like extra region, oh. like Bubbles is just not a very good like suicide hero for that matter. He can beat certain one mid heroes because they're very reliant on either a skill shot, so he can take it take cover. Bottom, or bottom, yeah, bottom. bottom. It's gonna be the tempest hole on a rat and Pharaoh. Actually, it somehow got the rat the Pharaoh out of it. I guess it lasted long enough. He's gonna pop his power supply as well. Almost gets this kill, and Dance Floor is gonna be there to finish off Saint Rock. So nice rotation from Rhapsody and Soulstone gets backed off as well. Middle lane, Narcy getting chased down as the release of Kraken pretty much completely whiffed right there. Kraken charge also going to miss, and Glacius can't find the freeze, so he will be able to get on out. And five that, before he can manage to leave time. To the Legion side. It's fine, nobody wants to hear me anyways. Nobody I do, does want to hear you. <laughs> you finally figured this <laughs> so out. Rude. It took you, wow. it's taken you months, but... Months? I was waiting for you to months. come to that conclusion on your own. I didn't want to tell you. Anyways, Drunken Master leading the way with his GPM. Yeah, now uh, closely followed by the play, previously <laughs> 280 GPM. So right. yeah. And I'm going to take a quick poll of you two here, but uh, I'm going to guess that King Plato will surpass this Drunken Master because, you know, he's still there. How do you feel he about has that? Alchemist, though. This is true. Drunken the... Master has. Wait, who has Alchemist? Wait, what? Somebody has Alchemist? Yeah, Drunken. You... Drunken has Alchemist? Drunken Master. Yeah. Oh, he's got it on the way. Yeah, okay, it's so that's, a, right that's a nine minute alchemist bone. That's fine. For some reason, he's doing that. I don't know why, but okay. I guess that I was a farming if, mechanism. Yeah, I wonder if uh, alchemist bones, like, goes through the cooldown if it's on a creep rather, like, well, if it's on the courier rather than a drunken raster who could potentially be dead. Like, if you die with alchemist bones in your inventory, in. It doesn't really do much for a Drunken Master in terms of the 30 attack speed, but I mean, you could just let it be on the career. Nice and have from it Narcy once down. again, but Aluna's here to actually get the stomp in, and it will be the Nightmares that falls 
devour ultimate goddamn one thing I can say, please. Is the kill bubbles hard. as well. Screw you. I got I no, got like fucking. halfway into about four different words before the right one came out. I uh, we noticed. <laughs> also, bubbles but death back below the normal gold tick. So yeah. That's well, it. Oh, Look. He's he's trying, all right. This is essentially a four v five, and Night Raider actually still a little bit ahead, <laughs> because Hellborn have a kind of a terrible draft. So there's that, uh, and also because they've massively lost all of their lanes except for top. I mean, you look at the GPM charts right now. Two thirty GPM on Nursi is their second highest farm. Compare that to three fifteen on the Kraken, and after that, it's the two supports and then the Suicide Pharaoh. Nursi almost landing a hook right there. But he not was, really. He was close to doing something right, alright? <laughs> nice. This is basically, like just, this is basically in just turned into Narcy flame cast. Yeah. It's Quincy time. <laughs> I'm trying to cover Shorkan and you're just like Let's highlight that. Real life stuff? No. Just no. Nobody has to sneeze. Are you sick, Cannondorf? No, I just Sneeze because I good. like sneeze. I was afraid we have to kick you from the kick you from the cast because I don't want to catch anything. That's funny because that doesn't actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? What just happened? What? <laughs> Shorkin was explaining a joke, and it makes it's, it so much better when he does. It's okay. Kevin yeah, I, I thought it was an inside joke first. Nope. After you explained nope. it, I was like, it oh. It was just okay. dumb. It was just a dumb thing that I said because it was dumb, and I like to say dumb things a lot because they're fun. <laughs> Kenner, you've watched like the majority of my casts, I have to say. I would imagine. Yeah, but right? Yeah, I, Come on. I know, yes. You know what happens by now. It gets real dumb real fast. Especially when I, people I are killing each other. I am super tired. I am super tired. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's just gonna get dumber faster. That's exactly what we're looking for here. <laughs> anyway, poor looking on, on their Kraken. Tempest has gone for the Astrolay Bring of Sorcery build, so I hope they group up and start to take some towers out first. By the way, his 315 GPM is a pretty serious reason why the Legion side are ahead right now. You compare that to the two supports on the Hellborn team, who have been somewhat valuable, but not overwhelmingly so. And uh, as the laning phase starts to end right here, they're going to get even less important. So, things are already going Night Raid's favor, and I feel like it's only going to get worse as this game progresses, because the Legion really do have all of the late game. And all of the uh, they team fights. Yeah, they have stacked pretty good, I mean, on Luna. Like, there are two triple stack camps, but they don't really have a camp stack taking hero. Yeah. Like, Drunken can take stacks, but it takes time. They don't have, like, a soul suit or whatever. And similar thing with Devour. I mean, he can take stacks, but he can take a lot of damage for it. Anyway, middle lane, yeah, Kraken exactly. gonna miss the charge once again. Because apparently that skill is impossible to hit. I don't know why. But. I'm just like, the amount of missed crack and portal key charges, maybe people should just stop buying portal key. Because it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe tablet would be better. I, I don't know what it'd be. Anyway, top lane, Bubble is going to be aggressed on by this Drunken Master. We'll take cover, but he still dies. I'm actually going to drop quite low to this tower, but he won't be falling. And Jesus Slay once again, 0, 5 and 0. But he's got 83 GPM now, so he's above the tick. And uh, quite far at this point. Damn, that alchemist doing work. He's above Solstice and go for minutes, Quincy. That's not bad. I'm surprised. So am I. <laughs> Just like <laughs> it's it's amazing that Night Raid Wait. have a gold lead despite the fact that they have an 82 GPM bubbles. Like that's that's kind of insane. I mean, it's supposed to be well, uh, the, the Tempest. What was that? Oh, that was a fake. Are okay. you seeing? Yeah, drunken. Are you seeing the drunken triple life too? Uh, I was not, but that's interesting. That's pretty clever, some, actually. Yeah. No, it's definitely something that we see every so often. So, not particularly new to me. But. Well, Bubble's gonna rotate the bottom up. lane because. Have you never heard that before, Kindor? Are you learning things? Uh, I no, no no. It's like I don't know. I just for some reason that's kind of new, but kind of not. Yeah, I mean, you just sell it before 15 seconds expires. Um, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I Anyway, I, I, bottom lane, Tempest, Tempest, Tempest ultimately used on the Pharaoh. We tried to use the to get out of there. He still has the Wrath of Pharaoh available, and we're going to see some TP support. Nope, there's he's no tower there, so he's 
completely screwed. He's gonna wrap the Pharaoh up onto Bubbles, trying to get this one counter kill, but it's not gonna be there as King Plato comes in with the Demon Hand for the last hit. So taking that tower in the bottom lane, very important. Otherwise, that was potentially oh, a couple I of counter see. kills. Saint Rux cancel TP. Yay! Instantly. Number one player world. Oh, he's still having a solid I like game. Two ninety GPM. Saint Rex is a cool guy. Yeah. Anyway, here's a Kraken. Gonna miss the charge oh, once oh, again. My. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. At least the Kraken that was really helpful. I think they were actually ultimates out of range though. Narsi tries to get back inside yeah, of it. Doesn't... Nice stun from Aluna. Gonna hit all oh, three with the red. Hero. We'll see if they get any counters though. Narsi is gonna die in favor of this Glacius, and that's gonna be it. Rocket coming through. Nice PK away from Kraken. That's gonna keep him alive. Meanwhile, Soul Stealer's like, hello. Auto attacks kill you real fast. And Wait, that's a two for one. Aluna has four in her stun. What? All right. Okay. That's interesting. The Hellborn have overrun a Legion FOB. I don't know why. Did we lose Shorkan? Is he just gone? I have no idea. I, I wanted to ask, but I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, I, he's still here. That's fine. No, I'm here. I'm here. No, I'm just uh, organizing some things. I'm pretty plans. interested to see what Diglett's gonna go for. Sorry, uh, well, Nightmare's Night D-War was really good. Uh, yeah, okay, so 5,000 gold, breastplate? Like, that would I be mean, my guess. This early? I don't like it. No, me neither. I mean, I I wouldn't mind seeing a, like, Shieldbreaker board. And Kraken does finally get a charge. Pharaoh gonna trap him inside of the mummy wells as well, Wrath of Pharaoh's there. And actually, this might be a good counter. Actually, it comes through, and they will get a one for one. Although, Rapsi all of a sudden gonna be in a lot of trouble. Here comes Soul Stealer. There's this Aluna stun on the Glacius. Soul Burst, though, absolutely crushes that Rapsi. And now Glacius, out of tower range, still falls. Freeze goes through, and it's a hat trick for Soul Stealer, but he's gonna die as a result as they get the chase down. King Plato's Savage Streak, the street, Savage Six Streak ends. Dig like getting some more oh. gold. So he's at 570 GP. Yep, he got the breastplate. Why would you get a breastplate? Like because he listens to you me. Still need damage. No, I would have preferred the shield breaker in all yeah, honesty yeah, yeah. with with maybe a, a souls on top of that and then a shrunken. That would have been my like favorite build for him. He would have had it now as well. Souls and maxed out shield breaker. He would be hitting so hard. So hard right now. It would be insane. He would one shot the Kraken, he would one shot the Tempest, he would one shot the Glacius, and now he's yeah. dying. Speaking of Ooh, Kraken, Kraken ulti. What a hook oh. from Narsi, but he's still gonna die because the freeze. No, oh god, is he gonna get away? Yeah, Narsi gonna put the ultimate in onto Kraken. Glacius on pours there. He's gonna do a fair bit of damage, and Devourer should be falling for this one. He's sipping the bottle, trying to survive. Here comes the Aluna with the red th snipe, trying good to hero, find somebody. He gets to three seconds stun onto Glacius, but there really isn't gonna be any follow up. As the Cicados go through on the Saint Rocks here, and he'll just leave, no problem. But yeah, the Demonic was really weird because they're all magic damage right now, besides except for the Soul Stereo, which is like also a lot of magic damage. So no, the Demonic was really weird. Maybe he just got it because like, hey, I can buy expensive item. Yeah. And if you're gonna go for demonic though, like it doesn't make any sense to just do it all at once. Get the build up. It's got great build up with the bulwark. So why would yeah, you sit exactly. on five k gold without getting? <laughs> just doesn't make much sense to me. Because of the feeling, Quincy. Well, it is fun to right click stuff. Yeah, it I is. I mean, <laughs> Canada Dwarf knows this. I think. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Talking about Jeff yourself in the knows. third person. <laughs> Yeah, in initially I was kind of okay with it because I figured, what a mummy wall is from Pharaoh, by the way. Catching the Rhapsody inside and nobody else. Was, that's weird. I just hit W by accident. Anyway, uh, I was I was mostly okay with it because it's going to completely counteract the Soul Sealer aura. And I realize now yeah. that the vast majority of their damage at this point is magical. So having physical armor is not particularly very helpful. Getting it later would have been great, but at this point it's just not going to help them. Shrunken Head would have been great at this point. That would have done a lot of work. Yeah, as previously mentioned, Shieldbreaker, Bulwark, and Shrunken Head would have been so good. Fine. I agree with you, alright? Fine. Just... No, no, it. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm complaining about him, not you. Good. Complain about Shuriken. It's fine. You can't complain about me. It's not how this works. Like, Shuriken has this weird American voice. Right? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> God damn it, guys. What well, is it it makes, going for now? I mean, it makes sense for him, for him to have, a, have an American voice. He is American. I know, but it's like, it's a weird American voice. It's like he's, tr 
he's American, but he's pretending to be like something else. Look, like at least he's not from the south, okay? That's very true. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. He could be from Europe or something. Right. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Specifically in like the near German Dutch area. That's right. Oh god. Ugh. Those people. Just just awful. <laughs> just awful. Those are the Rhapsody Drunk and Master Aluna rally pickers. Hey, Rhapsody's a great hero. I love Rhapsody. Oh oh right, yeah, I I don't know, I <laughs> thought I said Ravenor. No. Yeah, don't pick Ravenor, that's that's a bad hero. I love Rhapsody. <laughs> and uh Ryan Ski is using the correct alt avatar for Rhapsody, which is the best avatar in the game, so she, he has to win this game because uh, it's fantastic. Anyway, Legion going to try to push this tower here in the middle lane. By the way, speaking of items in the Legion side, we mentioned that Doctor or the Drunken Master has... Nope, we're going to find initiation right there. Onto the DM. Going to get hooked back once again. Release the Kraken onto a Luna's base. Rhapsody trying to save her and will do so. What a nice. player. A Luna's still going to fall. There's the Blinksel down for Doing a ton of damage. Nightmare's going to double tap. Tempest Hall onto two. And the Wrath of the Pharaoh way late to cancel it. Mummy Walls are still there. That's going to be annoying, but it's not going to prevent Pharaoh from falling right here. So it's a genocide. Another humiliation. Because Reverse apparently has some weird relationship with this taunt button, and it's a 5 for nothing right there in favor of Night Rare. I almost said uh, it's a 5 for nothing in favor of Nightmares, because I probably should have said that, because that's some pretty good Glacius play. It was pretty weird from, uh, screw it, Hellborn. And, I mean, they just, like... <laughs> name is irrelevant. Yeah, it's not relevant. No, no, no um, that's their name. Like, I, I know, I know. Okay. It's it was very, supposed to be a joke, Quincy. It didn't work. It might have if you gave no, it some I'm, I'm sure it worked. I just didn't recognize that immediately, so I'm going to blame it on you because that's way more convenient. Anyway, we'll see if they can get out of here. The rocket disc got out the soul stair, but the dance floor didn't catch him, so he's able to PK away as they steal the ancients. Pretty nicely played there. And they will pick up a haste rune on a crack, and he's going to have to ac access his... Charge, yeah, he does get so and gets the haste on out. Savara looking for something, but actually, he's diving a little bit deep right now. Gonna eat the torrent and nice dodge on the hook right there. Glacial blasts are through as well. Ashley peeling him up, but it's not gonna be sufficient as the right clicks come in from King Fledo, and all of a sudden, Rhapsody finding herself in a bit of a bad situation. She still has the astrolabe, but that's not gonna help. By the way, I, I mean, she had it used, not she still had it, but uh, anyway. Drunken Master More going for stuff. some shitty items, man. Yeah. He's got no. a quarter staff here, and Twitch chat thinks it's a shroud. It's it's a it's a hell cloud. If if it's a shroud, I have just I leave game. Why would it be a hellflower? That doesn't make well, any I mean, sense. Why would you get hellflower? It's, it's pretty good with just tempest and bubbles, and it's pretty good on Drunken Master. Because Shroud wouldn't really do much since no, he can't really one shot anyone anymore. Because he didn't get correct items. I'm not saying Shroud's a good build. I'm saying, yeah, because Shroud. Oh my is, God! Yeah, there it is. All right, fine. <laughs> I just, I, I don't feel like Hellflower is really especially good either. I mean, he's already got a ton of a ton of attack speed from the Demonic Breastplate. He needs damage. In Sanitarius. He's got 165 uh, damage. So Quincy, Hellflower gives 51 damage more than the attack speed it gives. No, fuck Hellflower, man. No, really, like in Sanitarius, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that where it's work. at. Yeah, Sanitarius work. shrinking. Uh, over to the previous fight, like five minutes ago, but Quincy disregarded me. That's fine. So I'm gonna go back to it anyways. Like they kind of ran around. Like they initiated on Soul Stater, got hooked back, ran around, like waited around, initiated ran out and then got temp salty, which yeah. they just they, they didn't really commit to anything, just ran around. It was uh, slightly reminiscent of the earlier initiation where Narcy is just kind of getting a little bit too aggressive here. Like, he doesn't have the support to get these kills. A Kraken with a haste rune is not a hero you're going to kill. Like, it's just not going to happen. Even if you catch him, he's too tanky, and he's going to get away and run, so... Yeah, I, I, I get the idea, but it was just not particularly well executed. By the way, 6.30 GPM on King Plato. He has finished up a Wingo on top of his PK and Nullstone, so... Solid so your mix prediction came true. Defense and he did outfarm. 
the yeah. drunken master who went Who's for surprised? Alpha's bones. Even. Everybody raise your hand if you're surprised. Nobody's raising um, their hand. You can't see it, but I'm raising. No, you're not. <laughs> I really, I really expected Drunken to get out of the con out of control this game, but he just went for such shitty items that, like, I don't want to critique so extremely, but like, no, these are terrible. It's kind of necessary. It's it's just necessary to say that demonic shroud. I mean, it, this almost looks like a TMM build, you know? Yeah. I mean, he wants to go behind and like one shot Glacius. I just generally don't, don't like. Uh, oh, Soul Sigan jump into everybody. Will it get the Soulbreaker off? No. His null stone got popped. Harry, he's finally trying to charge up. Third time's the charm. Manages to get it to go nice. through. Jesus so Slayer and pick up a kill, and so does Play Doh. Two dead right off the bat in the form of both supports. Tempest Hole, gonna catch a couple of heroes. As Pharaoh's caught here, there's no way it's gonna stop, and that's two more deaths. Now, Narcy, what's your plan here, man? It shouldn't be continue to run towards that fight because I don't think it's gonna go very well for you. So, Devour gonna jump on out of there. He's gonna 1v5 them, you know, he's gonna... He's got this! Hook things. <laughs> oh god. He's got it. Anyways. So I'm gonna take out a 2 one tower in the top lane, and they're gonna be working at a tier 2 right here, which should be falling momentarily. Clearly, Diglett has interesting ideas of, uh, for items and stuff. I wish he would've just gone for a Dr. Repulsor, because he seemed to know what he was doing with that hero. Yeah. Or, you know, any number of heroes that were not Drunken Master. Yeah. Hey, he's been playing well, it's just his items are making him play Right, well, bad. like, if he had anything close to this level of farm with a number of other heroes, they would be crushing right now, but they're not anyway. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not that he's playing badly, it's just that... It, if he's going to play well, right, do it on a better hero, A. Oh, and, the hook! Oh, yeah, they're gonna get bubbles. He already used a Shell Surf, he's gonna drop the take cover, but he's still gonna die, no question, yeah. yeah. Tries to silence out, but it doesn't matter. So Cheesy Slayer getting jumped as Narcy is the best of our player in the world. For a rocket against Scout, so they will top push in the top lane. That's nice, but it really doesn't matter all that much. I don't think they're down 17k gold and 20k experience at 27 minutes into the game, and the Solstice is out of control. Drunken Master's doing a lot, but again, it's literally nobody from this team. These damn these gold per minute charts look exactly the same as they did 15 minutes ago. Uh, could you guys just go look at the damage chart real quick? And look who is at Pharaoh the bottom. number one. Yeah, that's interesting. Drunken Master. Uh, like, the I, Drunken Master at 3%. Quincy. It's almost like he's a bad hero. Or something. It's, it's almost, almost like, like he's he has good items. Farm. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I'm just saying, you put those items on any other hero, they do more than 3% damage. Oh, the hook! That's gonna hit Tempest, we'll see if they can actually kill him, he's pretty damn tanky, they can kill him. As they don't want to use any ultimates quite yet, for some reason Ooh, there's nice a Kraken. Only onto one hero right there, trying to lock him down on the Drunken Master, they will get the kill. Soulstealer does fall though in the meantime, because the counter is there, but Kraken now starting to work through this Hellborn team as they manage to finish off the Devourer. Aluna gonna need to be able to put a solid juke together, but can't really find the angle for it. He falls, meanwhile Glacius also dies in the Legion Woods, so ends up being a 3 for 3. And I'd say two that goes in battle? favor of the Hellborn team, Man. as they'd take better trades. Do they, though? Well, I mean, trading at this point. I, they don't really take a better trade, but trading when you're down is good, so... Yeah, I guess. But in the end, it's just delaying the game, because yeah. the gold difference is still too extreme to really right. have, like, any trades warranted, I, think, I feel. Like, okay, this is... As, this is really good of you, Kevin Bocci, with the whole damage shot thing. You see that Soul Sealer is at 21%, and Drunken has 3%. That, what is that? I'm good at spotting things. Well, okay, I'm going to bring in the stats here, if I can say. One second. 23% is larger than 3%, so... 21, dear Quincy. Okay, well, it was 23 a second ago. Now it's 21%. <laughs> Scumbag show. <laughs> Scumbag show. Okay. Yeah, you did say 23, you were like, no. I'm trying to bring in the stats, and you're just one-upping me with your nonsense. Anyway, uh, yes, 21% is larger than 3%, specifically 7 times larger. So, one can almost can say that Soul Sealer is 7 times the hero that Drunken Master is. <laughs> oh! That, that makes sense! It's right? like, is it Soul Sealer like 7 times the hero's emphasis as well? Uh, Since no, Saint Rox he's has not. 4 well, yeah, Saint oh. Rocks is a four percent damage. 
so it's more like 6.8. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but something like that. It it's also like usually Drunken Master would be up there with the damage shots because you're supposed to be aggressive with him and. Uh, well, he's also usually playing a different role. I mean, if you put a suicide or mid Drunken Master, he's going to be moving around the lo map a lot more, getting involved in hero kills a lot more. But he's just AFK farming in the top lane, so part of that is you know Drunken Master just hasn't been involved a hell of a lot. That theory falls yeah. apart if you look at the Soul Stealer uh, thing, but hey, let's ignore that for the time being because Soul Stealer doesn't really need to AFK farm. He can farm the entire woods in like 30 seconds and then spend the other half a minute killing shit, so Imagine. it's fine. Imagine. And the Soul Burst is also really helpful in terms of damage output. Aluna with another nice hook from Narcy. Here comes Soul Stealer in the background. They will get locked down by the Devourer Ultimate. Tempest Hole not quite available yet as the Rapsy Ultimate saving stuff. Finally, the Tempest Hole comes out. Two down the Hellborn side as they lose both Diglett and Aluna. Perhaps trying to get away here, but the pushbooks forward are going to be too much, and she will die. It looks like Fairy getting chased down by Kraken as well. In the back line, actually, Glacius gets picked off by the Drunken Master, but uh, he still should fall. Oh, as yeah, he does, and Pharaoh also dies. He tried to get the TP on up, but it's too much damage, and even stop the TP. It's just he died, and it will be another genocide. This time they lose only the Glacius, so I'm going to go ahead and say that's a worthwhile exchange for the guys on Night Raid. Obviously. Yeah, but uh, that was extremely weird. Like, Soul Steel got full duration Devour ultied, and like, Drunk just kept hitting him. But they have a Crackland Portal Key, Tempest Tablet Portal Key, Bubbles Tablet Portal Key. I felt like they could have saved him a lot earlier than they actually did. I, I wasn't watching, like, Bubbles might have been jumped as well, but. Yeah, it was I, a, I felt like they could have saved him. It was a bit of a split up oh, team help. fight because of the Rapsy and the Aluna in the background. Like, Kraken was focusing yeah. more on the, on the Aluna. Uh. But I, I just don't think they care that much. Like, it's really <laughs> difficult to kill the Soul Stealer. <laughs> He's got a Null Stone and a Wingbow, and then ja and a Geometer's Mane as well, so... They just don't have damage on the Hellborn team. Like, what are they That's gonna do? That's why we said Shield Breaker. Yeah. No, I, I'm... I, and I agree with you. They could have had damage, but they, they don't. Shield Breaker, Souls, Shrunken would have been the perfect item progression. He could have been active, he would have one shot at the Bubbles, one shot at the Glaciers, yeah. one shot at the Tempest. And Soul Sealer would be like, oh, what do I do against this heavily evasive blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, he still would probably win because he's Dragon Master, but it would have been harder, I think is the point. Which is fair. Anyway. Uh, the Legion side going to continue to take farm in their own woods, of course. Hellborn are actually doing a solid job of farming the ancient stuff like that. Diglett's keeping his GPM up, but I, to me, actually, it just keeps coming back to, yeah, Diglett's farming really, really well, and his items weren't great, which is seriously hindering him, but this is effectively him against the world, it, it feels like. it's. I don't think we're emphasizing enough how crappy the farm is on the entire Hellborn team that is not a drunken master. Like, they don't have anything. What are they gonna do? Collectively, they have... What? Like... They have a Shaman's Headdress, a Pushbook, a Barbed GPM. Armor, uh, an Astrolabe, another Pushbook. That's about it. They've got, like, four utility items on four heroes. Anyway, Shrunken Head gets popped by the Kraken as he gets hooked in, so... <laughs> Devour, uh... That was an interesting plan. It's not gonna work out so well. We're actually getting jumped by the Kraken as well. Drunken Master actually could be in some trouble as Bubbles gets oh, killed in the background. Only on the one, though, and he's gonna get locked down and potentially killed. Gets to take cover off and Shell Surf's away. As, nope, it's gonna be in fact Chunks on the Illumina that dies. Drunken Master finishes off present on the Kraken. And he's gonna get locked down by the Ultimate and the Nightmares. Glacial Downpour is there as well. Pharaoh has the Parab Dharma active, but Soulstealer just does not care. As he is a DD, as you said. And it's gonna be another genocide, so... That's mid racks, uh, very possibly top yeah, racks, and a CC boat, so that's the game. The Legion have overrun a Hellborn There's a lot of white noise coming through on somebody's microphone. Oh, sorry, that's game. probably me. Is yeah. this a lot better now? It's a lot better now. Yeah, I'm what sorry about doing? that. I, I, I just assumed there was a hurricane somewhere in East Florida. <laughs> East probably. Florida, yeah, East Florida. where I live. Right. Yeah. They haven't actually come up to the Gulf, so if he were down towards the tip of the penis, then it would be much more likely that there's a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, anything else to say about that game, Shark Game? Or, uh, yeah. Item progression was bad, he was too passive, I'm talking about Drunken of course, Yeah. and I don't know, they just filled their lanes, except for top, like, 
Narsi didn't nearly do the same as he did the previous game, which is really unfortunate because it was quite nice watching him hook a bunch of heroes to safety or to their imminent doom. <laughs> right. Well, Kandorf, anything else? Uh, don't buy demonic first item <laughs> on any hero. Right, okay. What? Fair. What? That's a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly didn't go well that game. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think it's we pretty much covered it repeatedly over the course of the game, so I'm not going to add anything to that as uh, series even. So, Night Raid and Name is Irrelevant. Going to be forcing a game three right here. This is the round of 16, which means nobody is facing elimination from Cold Division quite yet, but uh, you don't want to drop down this early because that means that you will face demotion to Silver for Cycle 8, and I think especially Night Raid would like to avoid that, <laughs> and maybe uh, Narcy and crew probably don't want to be there either, so... Oh well, gonna be moving on to game three here in just a moment.